Shocking NFT news and NFT market crash. Project Gajira delisted, Board Ape hack, Moonbirds oddity NFT. Is the NFT crash happening? Data released in the last week shows NFT transactions have slowed and even decreased 92% from this time last year. The rise of popularity of NFTs does appear to be in decline, but is this really the end or a new beginning for non-fungible tokens? Welcome to the NFT Guy, where today's video is going to be very exciting, because today we are going to talk about the NFT market crash and the project Gajira, which is recently being delisted, and Bored Apes Hack Attack, and Moonbirds as well. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. NFT Market Crash Is the NFT Collapsing? NFT transactions have slowed and even fallen by 92% since this time last year, according to data revealed last week. The popularity of NFTs appears to be declining, but is this the end or a fresh beginning for non-fungible tokens? Despite the announcement of a drop, several tech and video game businesses are excited to plan for what's next. Square Enix, a game producer and publisher, has sold up significant franchises to focus on NFT gaming, while Meta has stated that it will integrate blockchains, Ethereum, Polygon, Solana, and Flow into Instagram without charging users. Non-fungible tokens are digital files that produce rarity when stored on a blockchain. More information can be found in our guide, What are NFTs? Or read our NFT advice for beginners to learn how to be safe when using NFTs. The collapse that has been making news has also been foreseen. Have a look at our guide to NFT trends for this year to discover how non-fungible tokens will find new applications. So, what about the NFT crash? According to the crypto statistics site Non-Fungible, transaction volume decreased by 47% in Q1 of this year compared to the previous quarter. Sorry to bore you with numbers, but this is ultimately a hint that reality is setting in on technology and market that have been overhyped and utilized for some time. However, the notion that NFTs are no longer relevant is likely exaggerated. The Moonbirds NFT project, for example, added $500 million in trading activity, while the Solana blockchain experienced a 91% month-on-month rise with approximately $300 million in NFT trading. The recent launch of Yuga Labs' new Other Deeds NFT, a virtual land sale for a planned video game, broke the Ethereum blockchain due to overwhelming demand, despite the floor price of $5,500. The allure of blue-chip NFT brands remains strong, and individuals are willing to invest much to have a piece of what's next. Why did OpenSea delist Gajira? With over 300,000 Twitter followers, Gajira is one of the most popular initiatives in the NFT world. Since its inception last year, the Godzilla-inspired NFT project has grown in size. Everything was going well for Gajira until a debate arose, which resulted in OpenSea pulling Gajira NFTs off the platform. To begin, a letter circulating online claims that Gajira has been DMCA'd. According to the letter, the project used the official mascot, Gajira, illegally. As a result, Japan's Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications issued a DMCA order against the NFT project and requested that Gajira be delisted from OpenSea. However, Gajira's official Twitter account addressed the situation and stated that the letter was a forgery. According to Gajira, anyone who examines the letter closely would detect several errors. For example, there are various grammatical and typographical problems, such as the dates and the usage of 22RD instead of 22nd. Finally, the letter's logo differs from the official MIC emblem in Japan. Clearly, the circulating letter is suspect. Some even commented to Gajira's post by translating the Japanese characters on the letter's signature. They explained that it literally means, this is a meme. Nonetheless, Gajira was delisted by OpenSea. On the same post, Gajira announced their removal from the largest NFT marketplace and told its holders that they had previously contacted OpenSea. OpenSea has delisted us, said the tweet, and our legal staff is in discussions with them. As with any growing project, there will be challenges. We're on Looks Rare NFT and the X2Y2. It's only a matter of time. Board Ape Hack after accessing the official Instagram account of Board Ape Yacht Club and using it to post a phishing link that transferred tokens out of users' crypto wallets, a hacker stole NFTs worth millions of dollars. BAYC announced the hack on Twitter shortly before 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Monday. There is no mint happening today, the tweet stated. It appears that BAYC Instagram has been hacked. 
Another tweet from an unrelated person claimed to show the image sent by the BAYC account offering an airdrop, effectively a free token giveaway for any users that connected their MetaMask wallets. Unfortunately, BAYC's warning came too late for many holders of the incredibly valuable Bored Ape NFTs, as well as many other precious NFTs taken in the hack. One Twitter user shared a screenshot of an open C page for the hacker's account, getting more than a dozen NFTs from the Bored Ape, Mutant Ape, and Bored Ape Kennel Club projects, all probably taken from users who connected their wallets after clicking on the phishing link. At the time of this video, the profile page associated with the hacker's wallet address was no longer viewable on OpenSea. The hacker's account was banned on the site, according to OpenSea's head of communications, Ali Mack, because the platform's terms of service prohibited illegally getting products or otherwise taking them without consent. However, because NFT is decentralized, the contents of the hacker's wallet can still be viewed on other platforms. The wallet, which was discovered via the NFT site Rarible, included 134 NFTs, including four bored apes and numerous other goods from Yuga Labs, the developers of BAYC, projects such as Mutant Apes and Bored Ape Kennel Club. Based on the most recent sale price, each of the stolen apes is worth well into the six figures. The cheapest ape, number 7203, was sold four months ago for 47.9 ETH, which is approximately $138,000 at the current market rate. Ape number 6778 was most recently sold for 88.88 ETH, or $256,200, while Ape number 6178 was sold for 90 ETH, $259,400. And Board Ape number 6623 was the most valuable of all, selling for 123 ETH, or $354,500, three months ago, bringing the total worth of the four stolen apes to well over $1 million. It is unclear how the hacker gained access to the project's Instagram account. Yuga Labs responded in an email to The Verge and on Twitter that two-factor authentication was activated at the time of the attack and that the Instagram account security followed best practices. Yuga Labs also stated that the staff was trying hard to make contact with affected users. What we know about oddities The truth is that we still don't know much. However, the Moonbirds Oddities Twitter feed, which joined the site just four days ago, has attracted 18.5 thousand followers since its introduction. 10,000 imaginative snacks make for nasty pellet friends, and in the nest, the peculiarities will arise with their first tweets. According to others, based on the 10,000 treats, this might be an airdrop to current Moonbirds holders. The primary collection contains 10,000 items, thus this could be the case. Moonbirds later conducted a Twitter Spaces for almost an hour yesterday, headlined Moonbirds by Proof Friday Update. The link to the whole recording can be found here, where the collection acknowledged ownership of the Oddities account. The Oddities collection only follows five accounts, all of which belong to members of the Proof Collective and the original Moonbirds collection. The original Moonbirds collection! Proof's Moonbirds NFT collection contains 10,000 items. They only recently entered the market, having joined Twitter in March of this year. Then in April, they debuted their core collection, which was an immediate success. Beeple and Jimmy Fallon were among the early owners of the collection. Kevin Rose, the founder of Proof, Moonbird's parent company, is a venture capitalist. He has been a strong promoter of the evolving Web3 space, just as he was in the early phases of Web2. As of the time of our video, the OpenSea floor price is 26.5 ETH, and there has been 141.8 thousand volume transacted. In the past, the project has experienced a low of 18.45 ETH and a high of 38.5 ETH. So, this was all about this video. I hope you liked the information given in the video, and if you have anything on your mind, feel free to comment below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this. And also hit the bell icon to get the notification of the latest updates on the channel. And thanks for watching!